Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. Have you guys ever seen these before? I don't know how many of my subscribers um, are painters, but uh, I'll fix this a little bit. Um, but I've just discovered these, uh, I don't know, it's been a couple years ago, but um, I discovered them at another campus. The painter over there showed me these that he's bought. And he's bought them at like Sherwin Williams. I, uh, I have not seen them at like Kelly Moore before, but um, I imagine there's other stores you could find them at. Uh, they're, these things are just awesome. I just got through cleaning out these brushes, these two brushes right here. Um, they've been inside this thing for, for like three days, wet paint, you know. Um, as you can see, it has a compartment about, uh, I don't know, it looks like about an inch, inch and a half maybe. Um, but what you do is you take a brush, and neither one of these are purdies, which I like. I like the purdy brushes. Um, one is a Sherwin Williams brush, and the other is a Wooster. Um, but uh, they're still in good shape. Um, I mean, you, when you have a brush, you want it to be, you know, you want it to be able to bend. You want the, you know, you want it to be soft. You want those edges to cut nicely. I'm in Mosquito City right now. Um, so. So these are these are still these are still decent brushes, but uh, what you do is you take it and you put it you put it in here like this. See how it fits, and it's got a little foam a little foam uh, uh, collar that kind of, that you kind of goes in between it that helps lock in the uh, the air, and, and well maybe maybe more locks the air out. So what you do is and it's got a little pad here that helps the top part of it. See here. So when you shut it, it locks over, locks the stem up above and on the sides, and also there's one on the bottom. See? So there's a there's little clickers here. You snap those. There's there's a front one here. You snap those. I don't think there's one up front, but uh, I mean it fits it fits in there just like that. Um, you set it. You know you don't want to clean it out. You don't have time at the end of the day. Um, you set it set it somewhere you intend on cleaning it. Uh oh, I forgot about it. It's been a couple days. Um, you go back expecting it to be dried out, but no, this thing keeps them. These things keep some moist and keeps them ready to use, uh, or keeps them keeps them still moist so that you can clean them and they're still in good shape. You know, if, they, if they're dried up, the chances of them coming out of it is really really slim, slim to none. But uh, they're called the paintbrush cover. Um, I guess it says on here as seen on Shark Tank, which is a pretty interesting show. A lot of a lot of different discoveries and uh, inventions are discovered on that show. Um, uh, keeps your brushes wet and ready to use. So you know you're going to go to lunch. You can come back and you can you can guarantee they're still going to be ready. You know they're not going to be dried up. You know in the past what I've done is I'll wrap them up in a wet a wet towel. And I'll set them aside and I've done that when I worked at apartments but I come back and they've dried up and the brushes dried up inside the rag you know these things here are amazing so <clears throat> as it keeps wet brushes wet for up to 30 days independent lab tested so I, that was just that was just three days um, 30 days I, I wouldn't want to wait that long uh, I take care of my brushes so but It'd be neat to, you know, something happens, all my brushes are in these from anybody that's been helping me and something happens where we can't get back for, you know, a month. You know, there's a good chance they're gonna be okay. That's pretty cool. I mean, some of the brushes can be very expensive. Um, let's see, keeps your brushes wet and ready to use between coats without wash up, uh, saves you time and money. Um, Airtight, sturdy, reliable. Um, fits half inch to three inch brushes. Sometimes, I don't know about this one. I think this one here, this one here was a little bit on the base, a little bit thicker. So some of them, yeah. If you push them down in there pretty good, it's gonna, it's gonna go, even these fatter handles. Just make sure you press it down nice and tight. 
So anyway, I'm not going to get anything out of showing off their invention. I just want to, sh you know, share with with uh, fellow painters uh, something. If they haven't already seen this or already used these, these things are a great a great thing to have. Um, they're really good. So anyway, there you go. Look them, look up. You know, try to find out what stores are in. You know, maybe. Home Depot, Lowe's, I can't remember seeing them at these places, but, uh, um, excuse the ear itching, but, um, but they're out there, and if you have a Sherwin, you know, Sherwin Whims are, as far as I know, they're all over the United States, I don't know if they're any further or not, but, um, I, I would, I would think that all the Sherwin Whims would have these, so, uh, and I believe that's where he bought them, the other painter. Uh, I believe that's where he got them, was at Sherman Williams. But um, there you go. Just a little, just a little tip. Little thing, whoops, sorry. Little thing I've, you know, I've, I discovered that existed, or these things, so they're cool. But uh, all right, well, I thank you all for watching. Let me know if you've, let me know if you've seen these or if you use these already, out of curiosity. Um, and I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.